We're here with Mr. Rubicki, uh, businessman at Fort Atkinson. Uh, I wanted to know a little bit about uh, you, your business career, because mm -hmm. I want to go into that field. Mm. Uh, so, what kind of things did you do to prepare for the business world, such as your experiences or schooling? Ah, okay, so this is about the business world. Uh, wow, schooling? Was I supposed to have schooling? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, actually, I was, we were kind of thrust into the business world. Uh, about 15 years ago, now 16 years ago, uh, we, when we decided to move down to this area, it was my wife's inspiration to open this barn, which had been a family home, to open it as a bed and breakfast. And uh, so we looked into that, and as I was just explaining a couple minutes ago, there are entire state statutes, a whole section of the state statutes that just deal with bed and breakfasts. And so we looked at that and decided, I thought we could do it, you know, and uh, we moved in in August, and by October of that year, we were open for business. Actually, by September of that year, <laughs> late September of that year, we were open for business. Neither of us could, be, could move anymore. It, it had been <laughs> uh, very labor-intensive. But it's because we had, there are a lot of things you have to meet, a lot of requirements. You have to have ground fault circuit breakers and all your, in, in the outlets. You have, the rooms have to meet certain specifications. And of course you want everything to be very clean and to look nice and to, so you have to do the decorating. Um, when we, we both, we both have college degrees. My wife and I both have uh, master's degrees. Hers is in uh, guidance and counseling. Um, and mine, of, of course, is in teaching of English. Um, and we had, and she had, in fact, uh, had also has a, a, a bachelor's degree in English teaching. So we had a lot of that kind of uh, academic training, but not a whole lot in business, other than you know basic math courses, basic. And so you, you need to find out about those things. Mm -hmm. um, as luck would have it, a lot of my experience didn't necessarily even come from schooling, although it would have been really helpful, uh, but. In 1982, when I ran for uh, mayor of a small city, you know, I learned about business really quick because that's a big part of running a city. That's a business. You know, we had to have a budget. We had to have pro projections. We had to, we had to keep very close track of our expenses. We had to know about labor and negotiations and all that. And I did that for 12 years, so that gave me a lot of insight into the business world. Um, but we did it because, for one thing, it was a nice thing to do, and it was really interesting. I mean, we had guests ranging from Milwaukee bus drivers to FBI agents to uh, a couple of really nice folks. Uh, uh, she's a uh, optometrist in Paris, and her husband is a, just a great man. Uh, and they happened to come here just by accident. Their daughter set them up with a reservation. And it turned out they were both amateur radio operators as, as well. So we had a lot in common. And their English was about as good as my French. So uh, luckily, we were still able to communicate really well. It was fun. So that's why we did it. Okay. Now, at the end of 2008, we closed. So I'm not a businessman. You know, but close enough. As far as those problems you encountered, mm -hmm. is there anything that you would have done different? Probably not. I think we found that uh, there was a, a really good organization of other owners. You know, there's a, the, the Southern Gateways group of bed and breakfast owners in this, in this area of Wisconsin, really, really supportive. Um, and uh, we were very thankful that we joined those organizations from the, from the beginning. Having some professional contacts really helps. It's nice if you can... Uh, um, and I think that might be a little different than it is in some other businesses. Because in this business, everybody was supportive. Uh, I would guess that the other businesses aren't always like that. You know, you have to be more competitive. Good. Well, I appreciate the uh, opportunity to tell you that.